Hi, I'm a science teacher. I teach in a low decile secondary school in South Auckland. Over the last six years, the numbers of enrollments in physics, chemistry, and biology has been dropping. And of course, the, the senior management want to know why. We teachers want to know why. In this particular process, I have wondered, in a world filled with science, technology, as well as STEM jobs, why, why are students not taking science? Literature, as well as international reports, convince me that the problem is not just in my school. This problem is nationwide in New Zealand, and it is evident in many other countries across the world. And so, my research aims to find out why or what factors influence this decision-making among high school students. But I want to hear it from the stakeholders in our education system, student voices. In my pursuit of my research, I have approached another low decile school in Auckland, and I have surveyed over 140 students using a questionnaire. The questions basically ask the students their interests, their reasons, both personal as well as external reasons as to why they were not taking science or why they were taking science. The responses from these questionnaires formed the foundation of understanding how this decision making was being influenced amongst our adolescents. To add more flesh to the bones, I carried out a large number of semi-structured interviews with a number of students, both science as well as non-science. And at the moment, I'm using their narratives and the data to write my thesis. So what do these voices say? A number of these voices say, science is OK, but not for me. When I did my science in years 9 and 10, I loved it. But the credits of NCEA and assessments shut the door on my face. A number of others said, oh, the curriculum is boring. It doesn't appeal to me. And so, here I am, a teacher. I want everybody to hear these voices, especially our policymakers. Wow.